In this video, we share files between a PC and Mac on the same network. Hello everyone, and welcome to TechFix Flicks. In this tutorial, we configure macOS to support file sharing with a Windows PC on the same network. Of course, we could simply use a cloud sharing service, but this method ensures the fastest possible transfer whilst retaining all data within the local network. If you've followed our series featuring both Windows and Mac virtual machines, you'll be pleased to know that file sharing can be performed with virtual machines on both platforms, provided you've followed the basic configuration shown in the tutorial linked in the written description accompanying this video. And, whilst we've used Catalina in this tutorial, the method is identical in any recent version of macOS. We begin by navigating to System Preferences. The options in your preferences panel may well differ from ours, which is taken from the virtual machine created in our Catalina tutorial. We click Sharing. Note the name of the machine at the top, and the ability to rename it by clicking Edit. Importantly, note this reference, which we'll later type into Windows. We tick File Sharing, which activates file sharing, adding some default folders, users and permission levels, all of which can be configured to expand or restrict user access. We click Options. We want to share files and folders using SMB, and this option is pre-ticked. We need, however, to specify the account from which files will be shared. We therefore tick our TFF account, at which point we are required to input the password for that account. And this is simply the password used at the start of each macOS session. After entering the password, we click OK. We are returned to the previous dialog, and can simply click Done. We can now click to navigate to further folders to be shared, should we wish. With our machine's name noted, we cross over to our Windows machine on the same network. Windows may immediately show the Mac within the network, but we more likely need to manually input the address. In this case, we click the navigation bar at the top of any Explorer window, replacing its content with two forward slashes, followed by the title of the machine, exactly as it appeared in the name field shown on macOS. We therefore enter tffs imaclocal and press Enter. An attempt to connect is now made, and we need to ensure that our Mac is still powered on and connected to the network at this point. As we have different login details for Windows and Mac, we are now asked to input our credentials. At this point, we are entering the details used to access the Mac, rather than Windows, so we enter our username and password as though we were logging onto the Mac, even though we are using our Windows machine. We now see our Mac folders. Although we only specified access to the public folder, we can also access two further folders. And here we see the content of the public folder, as well as the TFF user folder, and the main Macintosh HD drive. Of course, what we see here will have been defined when we assign permissions in macOS. We can now transfer files of any size and quantity to and from the shared folders. To simplify future access, we can right click the shared folder and select the option to map network drive. In this instance, we map the drive letter M for Mac, but you're free to use any available letter. With the drive mapped to M, we can right click the drive and select the option to rename it to a descriptive name of our choosing. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.